The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. Through Jesus, let us offer God an unending sacrifice of praise, the fruit of the lips of those who acknowledge His name. Keep doing good works and sharing your resources, for these are the kinds of sacrifices that please God. Obey your leaders and give way to them. They watch over your souls because they must give an account of them. Make this a joy for them to do and not a grief. You yourselves would be the losers. I pray that the God of peace who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood that sealed an eternal covenant, may prepare you to do His will in every kind of good action, effecting in us all whatever is acceptable to Himself through Jesus Christ. To Him be glory forever and ever. Amen. And our response is taken from Psalm 23. Yahweh is my shepherd. I lack nothing. In grassy meadows, he lets me lie. By tranquil streams, he leads me to restore my spirit. He guides me in paths of saving justice, as befits his name. Even were I to walk in a ravine as dark as death, I should fear no danger, for you are at my side. Your staff and your crook are there to soothe me. You prepare a table for me under the eyes of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup brims over. Kindness and faithful love pursue me every day of my life. I make my home in the house of Yahweh for all time to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that there was no time for them even to eat. So they went off in the boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going, and many recognized them. And from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as Jesus stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set himself to teach them at some length. The Gospel of the Lord.